This is one of the most expensive cities in the world to visit. This is London. So would $100 get me through the day with enough to have dinner and a dessert? I think I might have made a mistake. Welcome to London. I start the day by riding the tube. This is their version of an underground metro. It's so cool because you can literally just tap a credit card to get in and out and they've had this technology for like 10 years. It's super simple and convenient. The price for my ride is $3. Next I arrive to the main attractions and I do this walking tour. Tour. Most major cities have free walking tours. Just find it on Google. You can literally get a free two hour tour, but of course you're expected to tip your tour guide at the end. This one is called London Essentials and we see everything including Buckingham Palace, Downing Street, and Big Ben. I also got super lucky because I get to see the changing of the guards. This only happens a few times a week, so make sure you check beforehand what days it occurs. And I also love getting to see the changing of the guard as part of my tour because the tour guide gives additional context for everything you see. These guards have been doing this since 1660. And the best part of the tour is that so many famous landmarks are next to each other. So after two hours, the tour comes to an end and I give $10 to the guide. The cool thing about a walking tour in London, there is so much history in such a small area of land. And it's really cool that in two hours, you can literally see so many landmarks. And it's not just about historical buildings, but even where the prime minister lives and works. So of all the walking tours I've done, I would have to say, this was definitely one of the best. Next, I go to the British Museum. The price to enter is free. This is dedicated to human history, art, and culture, and you can easily spend a few hours here. Okay, notice how I haven't had breakfast yet? Yeah, I'm starving now. So I walk to lunch. I go to an area called Soho, where the tour guide I had earlier suggested to eat fish and chips at this restaurant. Fish and chips is considered their national dish here. It's basically just fried fish in batter and potatoes. The price? $24. The price? $4. Okay, it's delicious, but it's still fish and chips at the end of the day. Next, I walk a lot because the weather is nice, and I arrive at this. This is the London Eye. It's the world's largest observation wheel, and it opened in 2000. There are so many people here, and it's so crowded, and the price to do this is $39. Yes, it's pretty cool, but I'm sort of regretting spending almost 40% of my entire budget for the day on this. I definitely should have put that money towards something else, but there's nothing I can do now. I only have $20 left for the day. Luckily, there is a lot you can do for free though, so I continue to walk around some more and I end up back near Hyde Park. While walking around Hyde Park, I want to get an ice cream, but his machine is broken, so I take it as a sign to save the money. Then I do a long walk around the park and see this sign that says Princess Diana Walk, so I just follow the signs for a while. In the summer, the sun goes down super late, like 10 p.m. here in London, so even even though it's not dark yet, it is dinner time. They say that there's really good Indian food in London, so for dinner I find this Indian restaurant and it's kind of also like a pub. I ordered the butter chicken and it costs $13. And of course you have to get rice separately, so the price of that is $3. The food is good, but nothing amazing, but at least the price is quite reasonable, unlike that crazy expensive fish and chips I had earlier for lunch. I have a few dollars left, so I walk around the neighborhood and see this cool gelato place. However, I can't afford the gelato because I'm literally out of money. So instead, I just get a macaroon and it does the job of letting me use my remaining budget while also giving me a nice sweet. So there, I did it. I spent $100 in one day in London. I think I might have made a mistake. One of my biggest regrets probably in any episode of Cash Challenge was taking the London Eye. That was too expensive. The line was too long. It was cool, but definitely not worth the time and money. And it took up such a big part of my budget. I can't imagine families of four doing that. That's a lot of money to be spending. And I totally wish I would have spent my money on something else like a museum or another attraction. Overall, this is a very expensive city. It's certainly hard to manage a budget of $100 in this city. And a lot of people tell me that over recent years, it's gotten even more expensive. So that's definitely something to keep in mind when you come here, you have to budget well. And of course, accommodation will also take up a big part of your budget. But that's a whole nother conversation. I loved the free walking tour because you find the most passionate tour guides, so I highly recommend that any city you go, 
just Google free walking tour and you'll probably find something in that city. The fish and chips was good, definitely not worth all of that money, but when here, I mean, you gotta try it, right? And as long as I'm gonna try it, I'm glad that I went to the one that was highly recommended and super, super delicious. But I wanna know what you think. What is something that I missed here in London and how would you have spent $100 in this city? While you're at it, check out more of my episodes around the world and let me know where should I go next and what should my budget be? Oh, and don't forget to follow at Upton.